Jacqueline here from Sign Jacqueline. Today I'm going to show you how I make my corbels. So I make them on my scroll saw and I just use pine boards and make sure that there's um, two middle bits and then two outer bits that are the scrolled out pieces. So follow along and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start by tracing out the design on my piece of pine. So, because I know that these bits here are going to be straight, I butt them up against the corner of the timber. And then I'm just using a pencil to trace out the, um, the design. So you can make these designs yourself. Um, or you can um, find them online. Pinterest is a great place to look for corporal designs. So that's the inner part and then this bit here is the outer part so we need two inners and two outers so again I'm just lining up my straight edges with the edge of the board Now these are just scrap pieces of timber from the signs that I make, so they're the leftover bits. Um, so I try and utilise them as much as possible. So that's the second one done, so now I've just got to repeat that three more times. Okay, so I finished tracing them all out. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm making two corbels, which require two um, end pieces and two middle pieces. So I traced out eight of these, which I'll cut out. So this is my scroll saw. It's nothing fancy, but it does its job. Um, I always sort of make sure that this is down far enough so that it, the um, timber doesn't wobble. And I work on a fairly medium speed um, only because I'm still getting used to it. I'm not a pro by any stretch but I just love working with my scroll saw. So I'll just turn it on and we'll get started. It can be quite noisy. So let's go. So when I come to um, a corner, so right here, I'm coming to a corner 
which is a 90 degree bend. I'm going to come out, loop around and then go back along straight. So you'll see I've taken a little notch out which I can rest my blade in to come back along here straight. Okay, so when I come into an area that's really pointy, that I can't loop around and come back in, what I do is I go right to the edge, right to that point, touch it, then come out and then come back around this way. And then when I um, clean it all up, I'll come back in from this direction and get that little bit out. I'll show you when I, um, what I'm talking about when I've done it. Okay, so it's day two, and yesterday I finished cutting all the pieces out for the corbel. So I cut um, four of these, two for each, and then I cut four of the inner, inners. Um, and then before I went, before I got too dark last night, I actually glued and um, nailed these together. Um, I didn't get it on video, sorry. But all I did was put wood glue in between. Um, put a few brad nails just to keep it attached and then I clamped it like this So Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up the edges in between and give the whole um, corbels all pieces a sand before I attach this like so on both sides I don't know if you can see that and then um, I'll put a piece of um, timber on the bottom which is actually the top it'll end up looking like this so a piece on the top and a piece a backing board on the back and then um, glue and nail those all together as well so I'm going to sand and clean up those edges and finish that off 
Now, the lady who ordered these wants them unfinished, so this is how they're going out. So just, I just want to pay lots of attention to, oh, and I'm going to fill any holes that I get from the um, fried nails. So I just want to pay attention to make sure that it's nice and smooth, free of any splinters, and get them in the post for her tomorrow. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is actually um, make this nice and flush. So I've just got some wood rasps. Um, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it's my way. So I've got a rounded one with a flat edge, just a round one, and then just a flat one. So I'm just going to bring it to the edge of my workbench and just start filing it down. just taking that uneven edge down a bit for me. So it's been raining on and off here um, at home today. We're in Queensland in Australia and um, it's just so lovely. It's winter but and it's not even that cold so it's just lovely seeing the rain and everything started to get green already and freshen up and it's the best it's not so good for wanting to paint furniture and work outside but the rain's welcome okay so I've finished sanding it um, I finished sanding all in here and the tops of these and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this so that I can come through and sand the inside of this bit. Oop. You don't want to put heaps of glue on it because then you get glue slide as you're trying to attach the nails. Alright, so we'll hold that in place. One nail there. One nail there. We'll put one here. Put one here. Put one here. And one here. Done. So now all we've got left to do is put the backing board on and the top plate. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to butt this up against here like this. And then with a pencil, drill where it starts or where it finishes and the width. I've just got a set square here, or a speed square, and I'm just making a mark there. I've got a mark here. Um, and two marks there. And then I'll grab my second one that I prepared earlier and do the same thing. Now I'm not going butting right up against that first mark um, because when I cut it, 
it'll cut it smaller. All right. So we've got it marked out for the two of them. I'm just going to grab my square and draw a line down there. And I'm going to take that to my tool saw and cut. I think I've just lost all my lead in my pencil. Yep. Oh, no, we've got some more. And then I've got these two marks here. Or three marks. So I'm going to take that to the drop saw and cut that. And then if I can, I should be able to cut that with my drop saw as well as those two. So I'll go get my drop saw set up and we'll cut this out. Okay, so I've cut this piece and it is straight and it lines up perfectly. I've just popped these clamps here just to sort of clamp it in place to make sure that when I'm nailing it in, it's going to go in the right spot. So, just tighten it a bit. And all I'm going to do is put one nail in, in the centre. put that one nail in the backing plate I decided that I wanted to put my top plate on um, just so that I could make sure that it was nice and square so you'll see that I'm squaring it up at the backing plate and I add two nails in either side um, then I use the clamp to help me straighten it up and I nailed it again I then finish it off with a few brad nails through the center of the corbel Okay, so in here I have some sawdust or sanding dust and just a bit of glue and I'm making like a wood putty to fill in the, um, the holes from the brad nuts. After the wood putty had dried, I gave the cobbles another light sand and there they are finished. I just love them. Again, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Your support means so much to me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share the love. If you like, like it, share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want any more information on the corbels or any of the products that I sell, please head to my website www.signjacqueline.com.au And until next time, have a great week.